back. I'm back at YouTube. I'm back with my care and I do want to introduce you to someone. Trey, say hey to YouTube, Trey. Uh, Trey is Trey is one of uh, one my only help, the only person that I hired to do lawn care for me while I was gone. Uh, maybe on another video I will explain what happened to me, but uh, I just wanted to everybody to know that I'm back at YouTube. I'm back with doing lawn care. So soon you will see more videos coming up of mowing, trimming, edging, of everything that we do in uh, Ramirez Lawn Services. So let's get this started. We are in our second yard for this morning. Um, we just finished a huge, not really huge, but a big yard. So let's get this day started, guys. You know I haven't been up here, so tell me what you usually do here. Oh, I use, I use, I use a small mower. Do you small mower on the inside? That's the only way. I small mower in between here anyway. So, um. I'm a small mower, you know? Okay. Now, why I couldn't hold y'all the small mower? Because <laughs> when I start, I do you. I like. That's how I've been doing. You're about to do a faster beat mower. I just hold my own by like. You're just walking around. That's like. I like how it looks when it's cutting. I'm going to go out on this side of the house. Get in trouble. It's a beautiful yard. Goes all the way down there, right? Yeah, all the way. Okay. 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 I remember you told somebody about spray out paper. You know, I had the weed in. Yeah. I mean, as long as you you keep it like this, it's yeah, it's, it's good. Right, it's all good. Cause it went bad, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, a lot of dying in there. All right, let's get started. mowing this property just want to show you right quick guys this is the church that uh, I've been maintaining for the last two years maybe close time but uh, we just got done mowing this yard uh, I just finished weed eating and uh, it's fixing to blow off the parking lot let me show you right quick over here guys back here Not a whole lot more and it's just this is a very small yard but we're finished guys uh, we got probably four or five more for today and we're gonna be heading home
Or that tree. Something got me sneezing. Yeah, Probably the powder from one of those trees over there. But anyway, guys, just gonna show you right quick this property. We just finished. Uh, we're probably gonna be going somewhere to get some lunch. Just lunch time. So, guys, um, I do. We're up here at um in a really small yard. I'm gonna let Trey take care of the yard while I'm talking to you about why I was away for a little while. Um so what happened was I wanted to start a new business that <clears throat> involves um a very, very expensive insurance and they another driver and I would have to. I had. I had a driver. I hired a driver that was gonna do the job for me, which is uh, hot shot or car hauling, whatever you want to call it, whichever is the way you know it. So, um, which I did started it um, in February twentieth. I think I started that business in February. Anyway. Um, so I hired Trey in February too. So Trey been uh, on board for a little over two months. Um, ever since I started doing the other thing. And um, so everything was fine for a couple of days. After that we had, uh, we had an accident. I had an accident on on the trailer and the truck that I was pulling. It was uh, my Ford 250. I was pulling a 50 uh, foot trailer with uh, two trucks on it, and we was getting in on the interstate when uh, the trailer flipped. Yes, the trailer flipped. Um, we had to call the police and report the accident that happened in February 25th. February 25th, my truck was, the bed on my truck was completely destroyed. So I had to stay out for a while out of the car hauling business. Um, I was just, you know, doing a little stuff around the house while Trey was running the business for me. And that's that's actually one of the reasons why I haven't been on YouTube lately. Because I was on the other truck. And so. So, yeah, um, I had those two trucks and they're flipped and they were destroyed completely. Uh, one of the trucks was like forty thousand dollars and the other truck was like fifty thousand dollars and um they were brand new they were 2020s they were 2020s and <clears throat> so after a while after like three weeks maybe I, I finally got my truck back i got my truck back and uh, we started back hauling and then this virus came around which kills everything around here so i didn't have anything to do i didn't have no cars to haul or anything so um my driver was just you know in and out we was having like one day or two days and you know full day hauling like that and I came to realize that I uh, probably started that business in the wrong time of the year or probably wasn't for me. But anyway, um, on the last day, which it was last Wednesday, I had, uh, I had 12 vehicles to move from one point to another one. Um, <clears throat> but surprisingly, um, my driver sent me a text message at 5.15 in the morning 
saying that he was not going to make it, that he had a, um, he had an email with the job offer and a, uh, interview the same day. So, he didn't show up. I haven't heard, I hadn't heard from him. The only thing I got from him was a text message. So, I made a decision which was quit that business and focus on my lawn care focusing on my lawn care because uh, it really I really want my lawn care to grow bigger um, as of right now I'm, I have enough for me and Trey three or four days out the week and uh, we're going to be working around the house cleaning up I got a storage house I have to tear it, tear it down so I'm going to have to tear that down and rebuild another one so that's what I'm going to do from now on guys I'm going to be doing lawn care and uh, on this video I'm going on the end of the video I'm going to post some pictures of my truck day before and after the accident and uh, I think I can post those pictures too of the older trucks but um, I really miss you guys I missed uh, being on YouTube um, because I, I was getting good on the camera but um, right now, just not getting back to it. <laughs> anyway, it's it's not a sad story. It's just an experience. Uh, whatever happened, it happened. It has to happen in order for you to learn something different. You know, not that I have a bad luck or whatever, but um, it had to happen in order to realize something and. And yeah, guys, that's that's all I want to share with you. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. I hope you, um, I hope you're doing okay, whatever you are, with this uh, virus going on all uh, nationwide. Um, not only here in the United States, but in my hometown, Guatemala, it's the same thing. It's everybody. Everybody's on lockdown. I got the opportunity to talk to my mom the other day, and she's. She's doing good. Everybody's doing good. All of my family are doing good. So I'm glad about that. And I hope you're doing good, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And have a good week. And we'll see you tomorrow.